Let's see. Let's see how this kind of goes. Keeping in mind Pippoli is looking a little bit better. Sometimes it's good to work with wet on wet paint. And sometimes it's good to work when it's a little bit dry. Your canvas might still be wet. looking a little bit better. Sometimes it's good when you take a break because you can see things a little bit better. All right. Now, what I wanted to do was to put her in a vine. So I'm going to Go back. We went back and we're letting some, let me see, yeah. some little lights hit and we want her to pop a little bit. Remember we touched up the canvas yesterday with some paint. So all I'm trying to do is make it look smoother. to soften some of those lines. This looks a little bit light. So it'll go a little bit darker. Let's see. color. Wherever you know you have that color, just go ahead and go back. Smooth it out. So it looks, ah, I touched a little bit dark right there. I must have had it. Ah, it's still dark. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Now I need that dark that I had. See how it looks. That looks like it comes out a little bit. Let's see. I'm wiping my brush. I'm just A little bit of black, not so little, but looks like a lot. Let's see. And I'm gonna see if I can kind of blend that in. 
my white wipe brush, so just I don't have a lot. You can come back and touch some of that stuff with a brush. You wanna kind of blend in some stuff. Oh yeah, I need to come back over here. Because I think I did too. It was too light. That's what I see. And it's not supposed to be that light. I mean, it's supposed to have some light, but not that light. So just that. Okay. It's just a little bit darker, not that much. See. It's a little bit light, just a little bit. That looks better. All right, let me see. Um, I think I need a little bit dark right here. This is dark. in a little bit here and here always looking you're constantly switching back and forth always switching back and forth Like you're constantly clearing, you know, like you're looking at your rubber bands and you're going back constantly. It's a constant move. There we go. And I think this probably needs to be just a little bit lighter. Right here. Just a little bit, not so much. There. All right. Now. So we have that. And I did want to do some vines going around her. So we're going to do that for now. Let me see. What? Well, you know what? Before I do the vines. Let me come over here. I'm going to get rid of the impression of a nail. So we'll do that. Hold on. I have a very small brush. And I'm just going to give her that nail invention. To make it more believable. my husband to lower his volume. I don't like being an egg. You're probably like, Carmen, you did that yesterday. This means a little bit more. Now I'm starting. I just want to save something, but I better not. I was going to say I'm starting to sound like a <laughs> dog. And he wants my attention. Let me see. Is it like a triangle?
All right. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a very light background to give the impression that there's greenery in the background. So very light linseed oil. Make sure I pick some up. Because the more linseed oil you put, the watery, right? You can see that watery effect. So we'll get some white. You can get plenty of white. There we go. Get a little bit of black because the black gives us a different color than our raw umber. You want to make it lighter. See, we're going in different values. And even lighter if you want. We have three different values right there. Squint your eyes and you can see them. Okay. Yeah, because last night I was thinking. And I was saying, I want light to come out of this. How are we going to do it to make it seem like there's light coming out of our flowers? Oh my God, flowers. So you can do like a dry effect. I'll show you just very lightly. Very, very lightly. My brush is almost kind of, it just has like a little bit of paint. Just dab a little bit of paint. I want to give you the illusion of energy radiating on these beautiful flowers. Okay, this is kind of how I did my moon. Let me see. I want it to show light. And now I'm kind of going in circles to give that illusion of energy. I was remembering sometimes I forget. Let me see. But then it's like, that's not what you were planning on doing. And I'm like, oh yeah. I forgot. Because <laughs> everything is energy, everything radiates an energy. Everything. See, we do it very lightly. Everything is energy. It's not going to be like perfectly, perfectly concentrated in one area. It's going to give that smoky effect. So we're going to do that. It's okay if it twirls this way. It's okay if it twirls that way. This is kind of how I did my moon. For some reason, I want it to have like a like, you know, she's dancing around, twirling around. So it's going to have like a little, it's baby steps. Remember that. Baby, baby steps. And then, see that? A beautiful, you can have difference. Energy radiating from everywhere. You want to touch a little bit more, dab a little more paint. You can do it a little, couple times. Since there's so many flowers right here, lilies, so many lilies, you can concentrate a little bit more. I want to do it like it's twirl. That's my husband. See? It's like little layers. Layers. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. It's better if you wait, because then you'll let some of that paint dry. And it's okay if they have their own, like, little swirls. Let's see. coming out of this. Energy looks, to me anyway, well, I guess some energy looks different. You can train your eye to see energy. Mm. 
I just look a couple inches up and you usually see it like like a little haze, like a little glow above a person, above trees. It looks like heat radiating. See, I'm just dabbing it, putting it all everywhere. It's not like I'll just let it dance around. I forgot, that's why I didn't want to concentrate so much on the background. I was like, Carmen, last night, you said you were going to do this, remember? I'm like, oh yeah. Just a little bit soft dabs. And it's okay if it dances out, because we kind of wanted to dance around. I notice that a lot of artists, when they talk, they talk like that. Because we're concentrating. See? And you can just go back and dab it because you don't want the line to kind of show. See, this one's in bloom, so I really want to concentrate it on there. And then I have big mirror behind me on the wall. We took our bathroom mirror. You know how they have those flat mirrors for bathrooms? Like that cover, all, they're, they're like six feet wide. Well, I told my husband to put it on the wall so that I can see what I'm painting. And he did. Hush. I'll show it to you guys in a little bit. In the meantime. Now you say, well, I think you put a little too much in there. Or you can always go back with a gray brush. Remember? We're just working with grays. And touch it up with gray. See? Right. There's no way to mess this up. Touch the energy. See? Now what you can do is get a small brush and I just got a little bit of linseed oil to kind of soften that paint and you could do like little sparks of energy. You can do many sizes, you can have different brush sizes. Let's say since it's coming this way, right, I'll show you, it gives it that nice like flow of energy. And you can do that going in. That's also what makes it look nice is when you do those little sparks of energy, it does make it look like energy. You can do it very lightly. See how it's kind of looking? See that? You want to make it seem like um, there's energy radiating from the stem too because if it wasn't for the stem, we wouldn't have that line. Well, you can do it very lightly. Very. You'd be surprised how just doing like one shade lighter makes a difference. If you turn your brush around, You'll notice that it gives you a different pattern. It gives you a different width. So, and now I can, I dabbed a little bit to remove a little bit of the paint off. You can like touch it a little bit, let it stand out. See, and now I can like, um, and if I said like if you feel like oh, maybe I overdid it, go back to your gray paint. Maybe make some different widths for some of them. There. Uh, grab a bigger brush if you want. It's all a matter of preference. I'm trying to see. I don't have a lot of brushes. 
I just did that one. Oh, here we go. This is the brush I was looking for. This is gonna give me a different size. And sometimes it's good to put like a big dot. See, if you think that's too little, you don't like that size, get a bigger brush. I always have like a few different sizes. Here we go. This is the one I, I think. Yeah, that was it. That was it. But that was what I was looking for. Different sizes. See, like a flat in the head, maybe. Like right here. You could also brush it into a circle. See how nice that is? It's good to put up. A little one in the middle. I'll show you. I tried to do it right here, like a little bit of light in the light within light. See, like if you don't have a bigger brush, just do like a little circle and put a dab in the middle. See how that looks? Do a circle right here. It's almost like doing um. The little circles we have here, you will. You can do that. If you do want to put that energy on there, well, put the energy. You have a smaller brush. See how I'm doing it right there? It goes like this, and it goes like that. This is how I did my moon. I don't know how many times I probably already told you. I know, I got it. This is what my son says. Got it, mom. Got it. How many times are you going to tell me? Okay. Let me just do it. This looks like it needs a little highlight. Deep. And I did. They don't all have to be together. Right? There we go. See how it is? I just wanted to show like that little bit of energy, almost like a wand. I also, boop, 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 I want to do the, the vine. So let's see. More linseed oil because your paint, you know, may tend to dry out. So I want to do like a vine coming. Right? Lines do twirl. You don't have to do all the lines. Just a suggestion. I guess what this line is going to do. It's going to come behind her. And it's actually going to go over her. Right there. This is why I didn't want to um, do so much background now that I would call. Then it's going to come this way. The beauty of nature is that nature isn't perfect, right? Let's make it a little bit darker over here. Now everything's a twirl. Put a little bit more linseed oil. There we go.
We will work it in and we're going to do the little leaves that come out. Vines, I'll just have one vine number. Vines sometimes want to grow in my vine yard and I always try to get rid of them before they get out of hand. I'm not a big vine person. They always twirl. As a matter of fact, I, I mean, I love looking at them in someone else's property, but not in my property. And you can do the line to draw, to bring your viewer back to your main focus. Bring my Lindsay off. You can go all crazy doing this. No. I'm going to have to celebrate here. She needs a shadow. I'm going to be gone for like a week starting tomorrow. So, let's see. I'm just going to do this one right here, really. flat brush. Sometimes you can do very good things with your flat brush. Let's see. 